remember the time when days felt shorter? When you guys begged to stay another day at the camping park? The view of the Grand Canyon. The road that took us there. My happiest days. But there is something missing. I miss you. And I won't hurt you anymore. Hello everybody and welcome to the video. Tonight I'll be talking about the little known ARG, My Happiest Days. My Happiest Days is an ARG or augmented reality game created in July of 2021 and is still ongoing. This ARG is phenomenal to say the least. It's very well done and is up there with stuff like Local 58. The series revolves around the uploader of the channel stumbling across a box of tapes created by his father. According to him, the tapes are distorted, and he has been uploading the tapes to his channel as he restores them. The videos on the channel aren't really in order, with the trailer for the channel only being uploaded about 4 months after the first upload. Now without further ado, get cozy, get warm, and prepare to be disturbed. I'm going to be starting with the channel trailer as it gives some pretty good context to what's happening in the ARG. The trailer starts with a caption saying, In late 2017, I found a huge cardboard box filled with VHS tapes my dad made during the late 70s to early 80s. He then shows a photo of the box of VHS tapes. I've decided to archive them on YouTube. My dad, Morgan Fouch Turner, was once partners with Marcus Lawson and Hank Brandon Reynolds and worked for Canyon Computers. Now, when searching for Canyon Computers, um, I didn't really find much. I did find one company that's in Colorado where this ARG takes place, but looking at the site, it seems legit and I don't think it has anything to do with this thing. Um, the names Morgan Fouch Turner, Marcus Lawson, and Hank Brandon Reynolds also don't come up in a Google search, so safe to say these aren't real people. He then shows a picture of a man who, um, I presume is his dad, Morgan. He's, um, yeah, he's looking a bit, bit creepy. He theorized the ROM disk created the first home hard drive that could store more than one gigabyte and designed the new Colorado field computer mega farm and the termo assembly. Now the next bit of text is cut off but you can partially make out what it says. I think it says a machine that could potentially make humans immortal. As you'll see later this uh, Turner assembly machine is uh, pretty important so yeah just remember it. I'll upload and update the archives every once in a while. Many tapes are very worn down and will take time to be restored enough to be digitalized. Stay tuned. Okay, so considering that this uh, trailer is his third most recent video, it's safe to say that uh, this whole uh, channel is only just beginning. He says stay tuned, which um kind of kind of implies that uh, he's going to make a lot more videos. The next video in the series, I Miss You, shows a person who maybe is Morgan, the creator of the tapes, reminiscing camping with his children at the Grand Canyon. Note how um, he went camping with his kids at the Grand Canyon. The name of his computer company is uh, Canyon Computers. Also, this video is where the name of the ARG and the YouTube channel come from. He says there's something missing. Could he be talking about someone? He says he won't hurt them anymore. What does he mean by this? Did he, did he hurt his family at the Grand Canyon? What's going on? In the video, you can see a picture of a family, which is also the profile picture of the YouTube channel. The family is upside down. Two of them are blacked out. Three of them are distorted, and one of them has a question mark on his face. As you'll see uh, later on, it'll start to make sense why uh, some are blacked out and some aren't. You, you'll see. Also, something you may have not noticed is if you pause at 32 seconds, you, um, you see this. Um, yeah, it's just a little creepy. Um, it's what I think is a face. Is this, uh, is this Morgan? Is he, is he looking at us through the tapes? Uh, we don't know. That's, um, that's about it for this video. Um, let's look at the next one.
The next video, my happiest day, is similar to the first video as it's just a guy remembering the good old days. A trip to the canyon with his family. The person uh, talking, I presume, is Morgan, the person who created the videos according to the channel uploader. What's disturbing, however, is that he says his family is temporary. He also talks about a fairy tale that your mother used to read to you. This um, kind of confirms that it's Morgan talking. Anyway, the fairy tale says, Here came the little robot, stomp stomp. No playing outside because it's raining, down down. So all he did was wait inside until his friends would come visit, but no one came. No one that made the little robot frown frown. I don't really know what um it means, but we'll get to it later in the video. The way the text reads is as if the dad was talking to one of his kids. Were the tapes made for his kids? You start to hear some faint screaming in the background as the texts appear. You two weren't perfect. You too, huh? Are these the two people blacked out in the photo? Halfway through the video, you can kind of make out the text. I'm not evil. Is this the dad saying he's not evil? There's not much new information in this video, so on to the next one. We laugh together is um one of the more disturbing ones. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm just gonna give a content warning before I show it because um yeah it's a bit, bit disturbing. If you don't like screaming, if you don't like people in pain, uh, yeah, uh, skip to this time mark. The video starts with a guy filming the front of a house at night. It's soon followed by rapid and violent knocking, followed by screaming. The video zooms in on a white square. As the screams get distorted, the square begins to turn red. It's kinda hard to see, but the square kinda looks like a woman, or a, or a man. There's definitely a person in that square. The next video, Despair, is um kinda confusing. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show it to you.
Now, you can hear a piano playing in the background, right? Apparently his son, Christian, used to play this song. He's still, uh, talking about that, uh, Grand Canyon trip. Uh, for some unknown reason, he says he has so much regret for that trip. Once again, we see the white square. Kinda looks like a picture frame of a person. He says he's becoming human again. He can't stand being like this. Like, like what? He then says, please, come home. Who's he talking to? His wife? One of his kids? Again, I'm not really theorizing at this point. I'm just showing you guys the information. But towards the end, I'll start to put the pieces together. Towards the end, we faintly see the words, I'm waiting. Who's he waiting for? What? What's, what's this guy talking about? The next video, different, is kind of different from the other videos because it has a caption from the uploader. The caption reads, this tape is the weirdest one so far. Different, 1982. Keep in, uh, keep in mind the dates because um, towards the end I'll start putting the dates together and show you, show you a timeline of sorts. You hear a robotic voice of a man rambling about becoming a single being, joining with someone. He's immortal. Does this mean that he used the Turner machine? Remember back in the trailer we heard something about the Turner machine? According to the uploader, this thing can make you immortal. He says, you too will be a part of us soon. What does he mean, you too? He then shows the two photos of the blacked out children, giving them the name Stacy and Joey. That's about it for this video. On to the next one, one happy family. In this video, we get the names Morgan Fausch Turner, Helen Turner, Christian Morgan Turner, Stacy Turner, Joey Turner. Now, including Morgan, that's five people. But in the photo of the family, we, we saw six people. But towards the end of the video, for a glimpse second, you can see the text, and also you, Jonas Turner. That's six people. It seems like the tape is directed towards this Jonas Turner person. Could he be the uploader of the channel? There's not much evidence for this, but you'll see later on why I think he's the uploader. Again, the next video is uh, a bit disturbing, so if you don't like loud disturbing noises and uh, stuff like that, yeah, skip to this time mark. That day is a day of wrath, a day of tribulation and distress, a day of calamity and misery, a day of darkness and obscurity, a day of clouds and whirlwinds, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high, I can't, I can't make that word out, I don't know what that says. We then flash with some binary, who according to this person in the comments, it translates to one with the machine. We are then given the date, 8th of December. The background image then begins to uh, get a bit brighter and we can kind of see what it is. To me, it looks like a man.
In the next video, us and I, we see the word family. In the family, you can see six people, two parents and four kids. For a brief moment, a parent disappears and two kids turn red. We then see a picture of a man and an arrow pointing to a computer. This uh, holds uh, a lot of significance as you'll see later on. So uh, yeah, keep it keep it in mind. The next video transferred is um again a bit disturbing. Um, if you if you don't like jump scares, if you don't like disturbing noises, yeah. Once again, skip to this timestamp. The video says, there it was, Tor. We are all E-T-E. -E. The word is unfinished, but I think what he was going to say was eternal. We are all internal. We then get a jump scare of an upside down man. He gets more and more distorted until he turns white. A face can kind of be seen in the white. Next we have the Turner Assembly Demonstration, 1980. Now before I get into the demonstration, there is a page that is shown at the beginning. I did screenshot it and like up the contrast and brightness and stuff, but I I really cannot make out what it is. Um, if you have any ideas, let me know, but I don't think it's that important. We are then shown a demonstration of the Turner machine mentioned earlier. The machine will apparently change what we believe is human. It then shows the requirements for the operation. Firstly, you need a compatible home personal computer system from a blanked out company. I think it's meant to be Canyon Computers because um, that's really the only computer company we've heard of so far. Secondly, we need a state-of-the-art Turner assembly machine. And last but not least, a willing adult human between 18 and 60. We then flashed that image again of Morgan. I think it's Morgan. We then get the steps to work the machine. Step one, insert the included floppy disk and connect the Turner assembly to a personal computer. Step two, connect the cord to the medulla oblongata of the patient. Turn on the software. If you don't know what the medulla oblongata is, it's the uh, the bottom part of your brain. We are then shown a photo of Morgan merging with the machine as he groans in pain. Next up we have the Turner Family Christmas. This one is um once again a bit creepy. There's a there's a jump scare um towards the end. Just letting you know. Yeah, if you don't like jump scares, skip to this time mark.
Morgan apologizes. He says he won't be home for Christmas. He says daddy couldn't give you the Christmas you deserved. We then shown photos of the Morgan family. Some Christmas photos appear as a man, maybe Morgan, fades in. We are then shown this terrifying image of a woman in black and white. Next up we have the 2001 Canyon Computers documentary. Starting from the beginning, we show a map that shows a fictional state where Idaho and Wyoming should be called New Colorado. It's pretty cool to see like this parallel universe America. Like what, what happened? Was it like a civil war or something? Yeah, Idaho and Wyoming are now New Colorado. We then find out that in 1974, Marcus Lawson founded Canyon Computers in his basement. After he visited the Grand Canyon, the view inspired him to change the world. The company involved three men. Marcus Lawson, he made the circuit boards and did marketing. Hank B. Reynolds, he designed the computers. And Morgan, uh, yeah, we, we don't know. We then showed an unanswered phone call directed towards Morgan by Hank asking where he is. It's kind of hard to make out, so, um, yeah, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is what I think the distorted voice says. He was worried something happened to him. He went to Morgan's house. The door was locked. Hank went into the living room. Morgan was not there. He went into the kitchen. Morgan was not there. He went to the bedroom. Morgan was not there. He went into the basement. He saw Morgan. Morgan was not Morgan anymore. He was parts now. Hank was... And then it cuts off. Towards the end we see a photo that flashes, which uh, if you slow it down, it seems to be some uh, body parts stuffed into a computer. We are then shown an infographic showing us the amount of mega farms in USA. Apparently, there are a total of 283 mega farms in USA. There's 1,050 Canyon computers per square yard in each mega farm. There are apparently 210,000 Canyon computers that contain human body parts, organs, and brains. And there are 14.3 million Canyon home computers containing human parts across USA. This, um,. This will uh, make a lot more sense later, but um, yeah, just hang in there. In the next video, we're given a statement from President Joseph Lee Foster regarding the April 22nd Colorado disaster. He gives a statement to the citizens of America, telling them to stand up for themselves and not let this disaster hold them back. We then get text reading, there had never been an incident like the Colorado disaster in history. We did not know what we were doing. We have prepared for a redacted before. It then shows some audio captured from the event, which is, um, disturbing to say the least.
video then says that they were only trying to serve, and then the video cuts off. What does this all mean? What does this all mean? Okay, so that was uh, quite a lot of information. Just so I uh, don't completely give you guys an aneurysm, I'm gonna put together my theory one step at a time. Firstly, I'm gonna go through the events we know happened and when they happened, and then I'll start to put them together, piecing together a theory, showing my evidence with the cryptic info shown in the videos. Okay, so here are the events we know for sure happened. The rest is just speculation. As we can see in the video, Colorado disaster, we can determine that on the 22nd of April, 1955, some sort of cataclysmic event took place. We don't know for sure what the event was, but we are shown a picture of some rubble and some audio of screaming during the event. With the map of America we are shown in the 2001 documentary, we see that there is a fictional state named New Colorado, where Wyoming and Idaho are meant to be. I believe that this event in 1955 is the cause of this. We don't know what happened for sure, whether it was a civil war, alien invasion, nuclear explosion, but whatever it was, it left Colorado and America in shambles, causing the formation of New Colorado. The next event we know happened was the founding of Canyon Computers in 1974. From the Canyon Computers documentary, we know that sometime in 1974, Marcus Lawson founded Canyon Computers in his basement. Shortly after this, the tapes that are uploaded to this YouTube channel were made from the late 70s to the early 80s. We know this for a fact from the channel trailer. I also believe this was around the time the so-called Day of Wrath occurred. From all the subliminal messages we are shown throughout the tapes, I feel like the Day of Wrath was the day Morgan Turner used the Turner assembly machine and uh, he uh, made himself immortal. Now, before I put on my tinfoil hat and go all Alex Jones, I want to say this is just my my theory, and it's all speculation to what this ARG could be about. Throughout the tapes, we see talk of the Turner machine making you immortal or eternal. Morgan constantly fantasizes about becoming one with the machine and living forever. Proving this, there is a diagram shown in the video, us and in, of a man with an arrow pointing to the machine. Also proving this, in the Turner assembly demonstration, we are shown a picture of Morgan slowly combining with the Turner machine. In the first few tapes on the channel, we are shown this photo of the Turner family. As you can see, two members of the family are blacked out. Stacy and Joey, as seen in the tape, different. What I think happened was after connecting himself to the Turner machine, Morgan then forced two of his kids, Stacy and Joey, to join him, and as Morgan says, become one. We know this happened sometime in 1982, as that is when the tape different was made. This would also mean that the Day of Wrath occurred on the 8th of December 1982, as shown by the state in the Day of Wrath video. As this is pretty close to Christmas, this means that after becoming one with the machine, Morgan was absent and missing as his family had Christmas. This is what we see in the tape, Morgan Family Christmas, which I feel like also occurred in December of 1982. Now in the tape We Laugh Together, we see a man staring at the front of a house, breathing heavily. As he knocks on the door violently, we hear screaming. I believe that after Morgan joined the Turner assembly and took two of his kids with him, his wife Helen took the remaining kids and moved to another house. After finding that house, Morgan broke in and consumed them into the Turner assembly. I feel like the only survivor of this event was Jonas. As we see in the tape One Happy Family, the tapes are directed towards Jonas who I believe is the uploader of the channel. From what we see in the 2001 Canyon Computers documentary, we see that Morgan's friend and co-worker, Hank Reynolds, went searching for Morgan after his disappearance. After finding Morgan in the basement of the Turner household, he describes Morgan as just parts. I don't know why, but there's something about this line that is so well done, it just, it really disturbs me. It leads a lot to the audience's mind regarding what the Turner Assembly did to Morgan. After Hank finds Morgan, he is then consumed into the Turner Assembly. At the end of the documentary, we are shown some statistics of Canyon Home Computers mega farms around America. Apparently, all 283 computer mega farms contain 1,050 computers per square meter. Also, around America, there are a total of 14.3 million Canyon computers containing human body parts. The way these mega farms are described makes it sound like these Canyon computers are being biologically produced and farmed. What I think is happening here is that Morgan and the Turner assembly machine expanded and reproduced through these mega farms, creating Canyon computers and planting themselves in the houses across America, all for some unknown purpose. 
while this is mostly speculation, it's the best theory I can put together with the little information we have. In late 2017, Jonas Turner finds the tapes created by Morgan in the late 70s to early 80s in 2021. He decides to upload them to YouTube under the channel My Happiest Days. As there's some time between uploads, I really hope this ARG continues to grow with more backstory behind this alternate history America. Honestly, I, I had a blast delving into this ARG. I gotta say, I'm, I'm really impressed with how well done it is. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked that no one has covered it yet. It doesn't seem to have much attention, but hopefully this video draws some more people to it. Before I end the video, I just want to thank everyone for the recent support. I cannot explain how thankful I am. 700 subscribers. It's, it's unreal. It means the world to me. Thanks for watching this one, and I really appreciate it if you made it to the end. If you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe and all that stuff if you want to, and I'll see you in the next one.